Hey world! So I just recently finished reading this, which is a German book. It's called Märchenmond by Wolfgang and Heike Holbein. It's a fantasy book and I basically really liked reading it. I loved the story. I love the Holbein's writing style. However, there was an aspect in it that I kind of want to talk about because it really irritated me and I almost stopped reading because it was just it felt really uncomfortable for me and to be completely honest I haven't made up my mind on what to think of it yet I haven't made up my mind on the entire situation that I'm going to talk about in this video but I think maybe that's the best way to get into this discussion video because <laughs> the best discussions are those where you're open to other people's opinions so I truly honestly want to know your opinions on this and yeah maybe <laughs> After making this video, I will know what to think. Maybe I won't. Maybe I never will. We'll see. But yeah, the thing in this book that really irritated me and made me feel uncomfortable and almost made me put it down was that the bad guys are called the black ones. And it just felt racist. It felt racist. And the reason I'm bringing this up and the reason I'm unsure about my opinion on this is that this is a fictional world and they aren't actually black people. They aren't people of color. They are just wearing completely black outfits. Um, but still, they are called the black ones and they are the bad ones. They're the evil ones. They're the ones everyone wants to destroy and that just feels really racist. In Madworth's Lovecraft Country there's a conversation between the son um, who is really into science fiction and fantasy and the father and both of these are people of color and the father doesn't like the things the son is reading because he says that they are racist. But then the father says something that I never really thought about and I think that is obviously due to my privilege, I'm a white person. So he says that the bad ones, the ones that get killed, may not be black, but they are often described as dark, as having a dark aura, as having like grey skin or something like that. And they often wear dark clothes and stuff like this. So even though the people that get killed, the people that are portrayed as evil in the books this son reads, um, aren't black people or people of color. They are still associated with the dark color and with blackness. And that is, I think, something I never really noticed, but that might actually be true. And I say might because, as I said, I've only recently discovered this due to my privilege and due, yes, also to my unawareness. So I really want to know what you think about this and if you have, yeah, more knowledge about this. And in this book that I just read, it is really, really apparent because they are really called the black ones. But there are also other examples and I kind of thought about it a lot and thought about, yeah, some examples and some books I read in which that was true and wasn't true. Um, so, for example, in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter, um, the people <laughs> that are evil, like Voldemort's side, they aren't necessarily people of color, but they all wear black coats and they all have the dark mark. We have the Dementors that are also really black and dark. Or in Planet Hulk, yes, I'm actually criticizing my baby, <laughs> um, in Planet Hulk the bad people or the people that Hulk fights against all have dark wet skin. Um, however, on the other side I also found some examples where um, the opposite was true. For example, in Mallory Blackman's, I think the English version is called Checkmate, I'm not quite sure, um, the white ones are oppressed and the black people or the people of color are like the purer ones and the ones um, that are in control. However, this also criticizes that and it criticizes that 
the people of color are worth more than the white people. So it might still be racist. I'm not quite sure. And that's the thing. Or in Ferris, um, which is part of Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles, the evil queen kind of has really, really white skin. Um, so it, it's kind of, yeah, I, I honestly am not sure what to think of it. And I'm also not sure whether dark people being evil in fictional worlds where they aren't really people of color but for example are completely different species or are aliens or something like that is it still racist but then again when i read a book and i'm really uncomfortable with the way the evil ones are portrayed as dark and think it's racist then doesn't that mean it's racist but if that is the case, then I want to, first of all, be aware of it and also change my re reading habits according to it and also my writing habits because I'm a writer, I want to publish stories, I want to write stories and I want to be aware of these things so that I don't make the same mistake. And yeah, I just, I don't want racism on my bookshelf, basically. Please start a discussion. Please don't be as unaware as I have been. And yeah, maybe together we can find a conclusion. <laughs> I guess that's already it for today's video. And yeah, I really mean it when I say that I want to learn. So. I'm sorry if I'm being really stupid or offensive. I really am sorry. Um, but please teach me and talk to me. And yeah, the comments are open.